you and welcome back to this channel where today I'm going to impart on you some amazing wisdom. I'm sure of it. Wisdom! So in a couple weeks I will be hitting a milestone birthday. I'll just leave it at that. Everything I do is a big secret. So it got me thinking about the expectations you have or uh, how you know you're an adult. Because when you turn 18, you know you're legally an adult, but you know, I was definitely far from being an adult at 18 years old. So I decided this week that I was going to make a list of all the signs that you're becoming an adult, that you're participating in adulting. I wanted to make a, like a genuine list, things that I've actually done or actually thought. So without further ado, here are my signs that you are turning into an adult. One day, when you least expect it, you will have the sudden urge to yell at children to get off your lawn, even if it's not your lawn. Yep, I've done that. One day, number two will happen to you. You will refer to anybody under the age of 25 as a kid or as a, oh, you're just a baby still. You will utter the following words. Oh God, my back hurts. My neck hurts. My knees, I got old man knees. My knees hurt. I have discovered that these aches and pains are not just reserved for the middle aged people. It is all. Your body starts to just say, you know what? We've had a good run. Y yeah, we've had a good run. I mean, we're gonna, still gonna work for you, but just, just not as well. Just not as well as we thought. You will start admiring the weirdest things that you never ever thought you would be impressed by. For example, I was at Ikea a couple weeks ago, and you know they have their little like house displays. Yeah, I was very impressed by a rug that I found. I was like, huh, that's a nice rug. God, that rug would look great in my bedroom. So admiring the sturdiness of things. I have a problem when I'm in a store or almost anywhere. I have to touch everything. So, if I'm buying something like a table or a chair, I might happen to admire its sturdiness. You know, take it, shake it, sit on it, press on it, make sure it's sturdy, because you're going to be paying for that table if it breaks and you didn't check its sturdiness. Things that I never thought I would ever find important, nor admirationable. You can make up words in as, as an adult, too. It's amazing. It's fantastical, magical, da 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 you feel stupid using the following phrases in casual conversation. OMG, LOL, OMFG, BYB, Stafu, BYOB, YOLO, Basic, Fleek, Netflix and Chill. As a teenager, I used to think that hanging out at the mall was like fun. See, now the thought of hanging out at the mall really just sounds awful. I like to get in and get out and get on with my life. It's brutal. Number seven, when you were younger, there was nothing that could deter you from going out Friday night, Saturday night, Tuesday night, whatever. You were going out with your friends, you were going to go hang out, go into a movie, all of that stuff. Now, you come up with excuses to stay home. You come up with excuses to stay in instead of go out. You're like, oh, I'm feeling sick, you know? You know, I feel like my toe, my toe hurts, so I don't think I can go out tonight. The concept of boredom has become foreign to you. I personally would kill for a night of nothing, and there's a difference between doing nothing and the fact that even if you do nothing, there's still stuff that needs to be done. I can't remember the last time that I truly had nothing to do. There's always something, and now that I have a house, there is always something. As you get older and as you become an adult, you truly Truly know what it's like when life hands you one of these. It's like when you're a teenager, everything just seems really awful. But let's say your car broke down or you needed something for school. Your parents, more likely than not, are going to jump in and save you. And as a young person, you kind of have that idea that they're supposed to do that. Shout out to mom and dad. But you feel crappier and crappier having your parents help you when you know you're an adult and you should be able to take care of yourself, you'll feel less and less good about your parents shouldering 
the burden of your life. When things go bad, you lose a job, you know, something breaks and you have to pay for it, that's when you really feel the true weight of life just giving you the finger. The number 10 sign you know that you are growing up is that you have an epiphany that I like to call the great myth of adulthood. Now as a kid and a teenager, all of that, in your mind, you think that being an adult means that no one can tell you what to do. Well, if you haven't had this epiphany yet, this might be a big day for you. So, <laughs> the older you get, the less people, the less amount of people can tell you what to do with your life, but there are still people who can tell you what to do, unfortunately. If you have a job, you know you still have a boss who can tell you what to do, and several more than you'd like to admit co-workers that seem to think that they can tell you what to do. The list of people who can tell you what to do gets shorter and shorter, but the, the nobody, I hate to tell you, it's, it's a myth. It's the great myth of adulthood. my list, my 10 things. I decided to limit it to 10. Anyway, some of those things may sound bad. Some of them are just comical that you never really thought you'd actually do, but but you did. I did. I think I have an innate like old man sensibility every now and then. I blame someone. I'm not sure who, but somebody. <laughs> so based on that list, you may think that I think that adulting sucks, which is actually far from the truth. I enjoy great things like independence, and being able to make my own decisions, being able to paint my walls mint green if I should desire. So do not fret, my darling, for adulthood has many great things. Yes, it does. You get to do accents that I don't even know what kind of accent this is. And you still get to behave like a child every now and then, like doing accents that you don't know what they're from. Never fear, my darling. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and found this, um, entertaining if nothing else. Maybe you feel the same way. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I like to sing and put up videos every Wednesday. Yeah, come back for more exciting videos. I will see you next week and bye. Bye. Feel like starting to sing the NSYNC song. Ba 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 Don't worry, my darling, growing up is a blessing.